It is not the man who has the most, but the man who needs the least, who has the greatest wealth. Now that I'm a quarter of a century old, I'm starting to take stock of my life and what things both material and conceptual in my life genuinely add value to it. I believe that less truly is more and the things that you own will inevitably end up owning you. There is great power in saying no to things, relationships and ideas that don't really add any real value to your life. Let me repeat that quote to you. It is not the man who has the most, but the man who needs the least, who has the greatest wealth. This is a paraphrasing of a Stoic idea that is centered around one of the four central Stoic virtues, temperance. The other three being courage, wisdom, and justice, by the way. This has resonated with me a lot over the last few years. The Stoics believed that needing external material things beyond what is necessary is a form of bondage and that the ability to not need such things and or to be completely detached from them is in itself a form of wealth. What is owning $100 million if you only crave $101 million? Desire for more is in itself a form of poverty. We can philosophically look at wealth as an equation. Wealth equals what I own minus what I desire. The conventional approach to feeling wealthier is to increase the amount of things that you own. But this only works to an extent. Often trying to own more and more ends up fueling your desires for more and more creating an unquenchable thirst. Instead, why not remove your desires? Instead of asking, how can I get that new pair of shoes? Ask, how can I not desire that new pair of shoes? The Stoics believed that the removal of desire is equally as useful at increasing wealth as owning more things. The most important thing you can possibly have in life is enough. Enough money, enough friends, enough food, and so on. The concept of minimalism isn't really about being an ascetic monk, renouncing all material possessions and owning nothing, but rather being very conscious about which items you decide to take ownership of. Owning things consumes finite mental resources in order to sustain your relationship with them. The less you own beyond what is strictly necessary, the simpler and in my opinion more elegant and rich your life becomes. If your default position when encountering an opportunity for ownership of a thing is, do I really need this? Or will this genuinely add value to my life? This makes the things that you do own very precious and special. This makes your time and energy more free to focus on what is important. This makes having a relationship with you very valuable because you don't just own anything that you come into contact with. You're very, very selective and careful about what or who you decide to enter into a relationship with or own. Quality over quantity is certainly the right idea here. Minimalism then, in my eyes, is the value of simplicity. It's a way of life. It's a perspective to look at the world through or even a philosophy. This approach to life is a lot more conducive to happiness and general well-being, or as the Greeks termed it, eudaimonia. So the most important takeaway that I can give you for this video is the less you desire, the wealthier you are. All right. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video.